atmosphere. The blanket of air surrounding the earth is known as the atmosphere. It extends up to about 1600 kilometers from the earth's surface. It is very dense near earth's surface and as we go up in the atmosphere, it becomes thinner and thinner. The atmosphere is divided into five layers depending on composition, temperature and other properties. These layers are called the stratosphere, the troposphere, the mesosphere, the thermosphere and the exosphere. These atmospheric layers prevent escape of heat from the earth. They also do not allow harmful ultraviolet rays to reach the earth. They also keep the earth warm during nights and in winters. Cloud formation and rainfall on earth's surface take place in troposphere. Air is an abundant mixture of many gases. The most abundant of these gases are nitrogen 78%, oxygen 21% and inert gases less than 1%. Water vapor and dust particles are also present in air. Oxygen is the breath of life while nitrogen helps in the growth of living organisms. Carbon dioxide, though present in a minute amount, is important as it absorbs heat radiated by the earth, thereby keeping the planet warm. It is also essential for the growth of plants as plants manufacture their food by the process of photosynthesis. Air has weight and exerts pressure on earth's surface, but we do not feel this pressure because it is balanced by the pressure inside our bodies. The atmospheric pressure varies from place to place. Some areas experience high pressure and some areas low pressure. Air moves from high pressure to low pressure. Moving air is known as wind. The density of atmosphere varies with height. It is maximum at sea level and decreases rapidly as they go up. The climbers have to carry oxygen cylinders with them to be able to breathe at high altitudes. The temperature also decreases as they go upwards. Biosphere Life is possible where all the three zones, the lithosphere, the hydrosphere and the atmosphere come in contact. This narrow contact zone consisting of living organisms is called biosphere. This zone extends a little above the surface into the atmosphere and a little below the surface and into the water bodies. There are several species of organisms that vary in size from microbes and bacteria to huge mammals. All the living organisms including human beings are linked to each other and to the biosphere for survival. Only human beings belong to a single species Plants and animals belong to thousands of species. Division of Biosphere The organisms in the biosphere can be divided into the plant kingdom and the animal kingdom. The three domains of the earth interact with each other and affect each other. For example, some of the water of the hydrosphere may evaporate, thus moving to the atmosphere. The excess of water vapor in the atmosphere then causes the formation of clouds and rains. Thus, the atmosphere returns the water to hydrosphere. However, this tendency of nature to maintain a balance has a limit. If the environment is disturbed too much by cutting off forests for fulfilling our needs or clearing land for agriculture, it may lead to fast removal of soil from slopes. Similarly, Earth's surface may be changed due to natural calamities like earthquakes. For example, there could be a submergence of land such as parts of Andaman and Nicobar and were submerged underwater until recently due to tsunami. If the environment is disturbed too much, some permanent and harmful changes may also take place. Pollution and Global Warming Emission from industries, thermal power plants and vehicles pollute the air. Carbon dioxide is an important constituent of the air. But increase in the amount of carbon dioxide leads to increase in global temperature which is called global warming. Thus, there is need to limit the use of resources of earth 
to balance the nature between the domains of the lithosphere, the atmosphere and the hydrosphere. If we wish to maintain the balance in nature, we must use our resources judiciously. We must check the pollution of land, air and water.